everybody, I just wanted to make a quick little video here. I just got back from book sale and I'm exhausted. I actually went to two book sales today and they were both fill a bag and they were actually two hours away from each other and I had to go home in between. So I'm tired and uh, best part is there's a book sale again, fill a bag book sale tomorrow. And we also went out sourcing just as normal on Sunday. So that being said, in the next, well, after tomorrow, the last three days, I should should be about um, 1,250 or so total books hauled, and those are pre-sorted. Um, the vast majority of them are, I don't know, they tend to be more like a long-tailed type of book, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, 11 o'clock, uh, kind of tired, just really exhausted, but you know what, you just got to keep pushing. And I just wanted to mention real quick, when it comes to book sales, Book sales are the best opportunity to make money, hands down. I, I I don't even think it's up for debate. If you're trying to make money reselling, you know, you go to thrift shops, you go to Goodwills, other than maybe the weigh and pay, um, it is the best opportunity, like a book sale, if it's a decent book sale. Now, there's all kinds of different book sales, but the ones I like to go to are the ones that have maybe about uh, 10,000 books, maybe maybe 5,000 books or more. Um, you know, it's kind of hit or miss with anything less than that, but, you know, the more affluent of a town, more likely the higher quality books you're going to find, so that's just something to think about. It's definitely worth driving, like, I would drive an hour to a good book sale, I would drive an hour and a half maybe, uh, maybe even two if I had like a trailer, uh, and I was really going to spend like all day there, but, you know, I got a decent little haul, I just grabbed a few books here right off the top, um, just having a, um, a nice shandy as I make this video just really trying to trying to settle down for the evening because you know my back hurts I mean this is just reality you know I just go out and uh, work all day and uh, find some cool stuff and I should also mention this is the kind of stuff that you do not find at Goodwill I th this just does not exist at the Goodwill and if you go to the way and pay you're not gonna find stuff like this either because well the way and pay I mean the books the quality of the books there is just total trash at least from what I've seen. But check out this book. This book is, eh, it's in decent condition, has a little bit of issues on it, but it's called uh, Radical Visions and American Dreams, Culture and Social Thought in the Depression Years. So, it's an interesting uh, histor historical nonfiction book, and this book was actually written in uh, 1973. And the thing that's interesting about this book is it still is worth a a decent amount of money. I mean, you know, 20, 25, maybe a little bit more. Um, but this is, you know, it's just an interesting book. And this one came out, like I said, 1973. But this is the kind of stuff that I love to find because there's n hardly any competition for it. It's out of print. The only way that you're going to find something like this is if you go to a book sale or maybe you have a, a stream of books coming in. Like if you do like, you know, if you have a warehouse and you got employees and you just get stuff dumped there or whatever. But you're not going to find stuff like this at Goodwill. You're not going to find, um, you're not going to see too much of this. It's kind of like a rare book. Um, and those are my favorite kind because, yes, they are a little bit slower to sell. But when they do, uh, it's a really good return on investment. I mean, if you average out how, many how much I paid for each of these books, 15 cents. So that should tell you there's amazing profit potential, especially on the fill bag days. And uh, this is another one, Freedom and Destiny, uh, Rollo May. And, again, it's another one of those older books. And this one, I guess, is just about um, personal freedom and uh, liberty and just how important it is, really. And this is, you know, another vintage book. I mean, this probably looks like this one came out in uh, the early 80s. I think it says 81. This book should go for about, um, you know, 20 bucks, maybe more. It's in really good shape, so maybe 25 so I thought that was an interesting one. And like I said, I just grabbed a few off the top. A lot of these books that I get at these uh, fill bag book sales or just book sales in general, a lot of them are hardcovers, and they're like older hardcovers. I tend to find the um, a lot of people don't like the the vintage hardcovers. I just I think it's just a, a thing that people just get confused and they don't really understand the value of long tail books. Um, certainly, you know, take some patience, but. Here's another book, and this one is definitely going to take a while to sell, but it's an interesting book. And it says, The Victorian Achievement of Sir Henry Maine, A Centennial Reprisal. And, um, you know, decent condition. Actually, 
yeah, good condition. This book, uh, I mean, you know, just check it out. Uh, go onto Amazon and, uh, you know, take a look. You should see this book is going for about at least 20 um, FBA, probably 30 and up. It's got a slow rank, but this is a really interesting niche uh, subject. And as I said before in my other video, Cambridge University Press. So it's not just written by some knob. I mean, this is like a, a scholarly work, right? So the other book, the last book I want to show you guys just today, uh, while I've got some cool books here to show you guys, I picked up this book, and I find this book from time to time. I've actually sold it a few times. It's probably one of my favorite books. I mean, I should probably just keep this one at this rate, but it's called Man Watching, and this is A Field Guide to Human Behavior. And this thing is, like, from the 70s, but it's awesome, and it basically just shows you all the details to do with, like, um, how people behave, um, you know, their mannerisms, just physical actions and behavior, and it kind of just breaks down, like, how people, how people act in public or, or private. Um, just really an interesting book. And one of the things that I think is really interesting about it in particular is that this book is from the 70s, but it still is like a very desirable book. I mean, the sales rank in this thing, every time I see it, it's like under 400K, which I think is pretty cool. So um, that being said, guys, just want to show you some of that stuff, hopefully motivate you guys. I'll try to show you a picture uh, or, you know, of what I've been hauling lately, because I've got a ton of books to show you guys, so I'll try to show you guys that. Uh, make sure to check out the, the video tomorrow, uh, Resellers Roundtable. Uh, we've got an awesome video there. We're going to be talking about some really cool stuff. If you have any questions, make sure to, to uh, be there. And, uh, alright guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And hey, let me know if you've ever tried any of this uh, Lining Kugel Summer Shandy. It's absolutely awesome in my opinion. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later.